today we need to get into people scared that V's short film might not be visible and or banned. We need to talk about a director allegedly leaking that V's song Friends is about a romantic relationship with Jungkook. And then we actually have V's full album track list sort of leaked and what happened there. Say don't mean Dave Desai, hey or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Make sure you join us fangirling on Patreon and let's go. So if you're unaware, V recently released his song called Friends. The song Friends is interesting because there's parentheses around end to basically imply that friends end. And there's a lot of theories going on about what this song is about. And these theories I will get into in today's video later. However, he recently released a short film. It was a very cute video that was less than a minute long, 59 seconds, and it shows a compilation of friends ending coupled with a lot of different words and different meanings. Again, we'll talk about it later. However, there was a part in the short film that got a lot of people freaking out as it was sort of a hidden message. So what is the hidden message? What does it say and what does it mean? So we have to give a little bit of a backstory. Before V enlisted, he released his song Layover and during that Layover album, before everything was released, Big Hit did announce with a statement saying what the album was going to be like. Their exact words were, Layover consists of six tracks in total, five tracks and a bonus track. To fully appreciate the album's flow, we recommend listening to it in sequence from start to finish. And now here's the interesting part, because in the short film for this new song, Friends, the team literally put the exact line in the newspaper scene. So if you haven't seen the short film, there is a scene where newspapers are kind of flipping down on the table. And if you pause and read one of the headlines, it literally says this exact phrase in bold in one of the headlines. Of course, this isn't a coincidence. It can't possibly be a coincidence. This has to mean something. And a lot of people have taken it to mean that the new album that V might put out will consist of five or six songs. And we now have the whole album leaked with some people saying a theory as Layover didn't necessarily have a great ending. So they were wondering if this album and this song was going to be a kind of part two and complete everything and make it into a good ending. We know the boys love to have sad songs and their endings aren't necessarily always happy. So I doubt this would be, but who knows? This of course is really cool because a lot of Eagle Eyed fans are able to spot in moments like this and not only spot moments like this, but remember exactly where it came from. Because even if I read that, I'd be like, oh my God, five or six songs, but I probably would not remember or equate it back to that statement that was initially made by the company for Layover. So just like the fact that every time something is announced for the boys, the fandom remembers like every single word of that announcement. Like that's pretty crazy and pretty cool. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a full thing of like five or six songs or whatever it is, but I'm actually very happy to hear it because it could be. And I felt like Layover was a little bit incomplete and it's good to have the rest of it. And maybe he thought about it in that way because having 12 songs seems a lot more complete, like a cohesive album. So maybe he was thinking, oh, if I split up this album, I'd have more content to put out and kind of spread it out. Now I want people to keep in mind while we are saying it as if there would be an album, we actually have no idea if there's an album or not. Nothing official has come out about that. We just know when the single Friends is going to drop. So I believe we have no idea. If we did have an announcement about that, then please let me know. I don't recall seeing it. But a lot of people are concerned about this and a lot of people are a little bit upset that they really can't participate in the Friends short film promotion or a lot of the promotion that might be happening. So it was clear to me that the short film was made for social media promotion. It was created for exactly less than one minute, which means that it can be posted pretty much on any short form platform. YouTube, I believe, Instagram, it has to be around less than a minute and TikTok can be whatever length now, but it used to be less than a minute. But just so that they can get the maximum promotion, they're able to promote it on every single platform and get the most amount of views on each platform. They're making sure that the content is recyclable on every single platform, if that makes sense. So having it under a minute is going to be the perfect short form distribution. And this is very interesting, right? Because TikTok is banned in a lot of parts of the world, such as India and other parts of the world. So a lot of people, if it actually ends up getting posted on TikTok, wouldn't actually see the video. And essentially they can't participate in the promotion of the songs. They can't participate in the fan edits that exist of the short film and the song currently. And so they're essentially banned from participating in that. 
as of right now, I think I've only seen it being posted on YouTube and not even as a short, but just like a regular video. And then it was posted on Instagram. I haven't really seen it posted elsewhere. Like even over on Twitter, it's just been posted as a link to the YouTube video. So I'm wondering if it will eventually get posted on TikTok or other short form platforms, but we will see. As of right now, I think everyone should be okay and they should be able to access the video regardless of whatever platform it's on. As for participating in the fan culture and the promotion of the song within the fandom, that is going to be a little bit harder. I do find it interesting that a lot of art now is kind of running through the TikTokification of things and people wanting to create short form videos just so that they can get the maximum amount of views. I feel like they could really have taken their time with the short film, like this concept, and really flesh out a 14 minute film and have it be something that could even enter into a film festival and take a life on its own outside of just the song. It could have been promoted almost like a movie, whereas it seems like they're trying to promote a social content, which I understand why they're doing that because it's easier to promote social content when the artist isn't actually active and around, but it's going to be a lot more difficult to promote it as a movie if the artist is around to do the press and to do all of those and to do all of those things. And V wouldn't even be the first artist to promote a song as a movie. Taylor Swift has done it. I think Molly Martinez has done it. So many artists have done it. That's why I say like, I know it's successful if artists do it that way. And if he is an actor too, so this would have been just perfect for him to do it that way. And who knows, he might actually do it. We're just seeing the first release of this song and the promotion. Now this concept where we see friends and then in parentheses, we see the word end. It's not a brand new concept or a completely original concept, but it's one that's very recognizable to people. And I think people immediately know what is going to be about. So there's already some theories on what this was going to be. Whether it was going to say that some of the friends that V has made within BTS has ended, or those friendships have then ended and turned into love, and that could mean anything. So that could mean that he met someone and they became friends for a really long time and then finally became lovers, or it could actually mean that he met someone for a really long time in the BTS group and they became lovers, which seems to be what the fandom is latching on to. Many people have talked about how this song likely means that V and Jungkook were lovers at one point and now they're no longer lovers. Or people have latched onto this idea that V and Jungkook were once friends and now they are lovers, with people saying that this is evident in the short film and that the creative director has presented the short film in such a way that has demonstrated that the short film actually probably doesn't even have V on set. It probably was created without V even being there. And the message that seems to come out of the short film was an internal relationship that developed and then mixing it with the word friends, people are taking it to mean that V and Jungkook or V and Jimin, whichever it is, were together. And this is interesting because people are saying that this is essentially what the director is exposing to the world and the message that he is trying to get out. However, this could mean anything. If we're going by rumors and speculation, it could literally mean that V and Jenny were once friends first and then they became lovers. It could mean so many different things. And the speculation is nothing more than just speculation because there's no proof of that because even if and when the song comes out and it does have some romantic references in there, unless the song blatantly just says whoever's name on it, then we will never know because those lyrics could refer to anybody and we can take it as the public to mean a specific person, but we don't know what is going on behind the scenes and we don't know what's happening when the cameras are not there. So those references that we think could mean, let's say Jungkook, V could be referring to someone else that he was hanging out with in his free time. Of course, I appreciate and love those theories as it cannot be a good promotion without speculation and conversation. A lot of people hate when the fandom speculates things about a promotion and whether it's either romantic or something that may be controversial. However, that helps the artists and they typically want that during their promotion period because when people speculate and make up stories or whatever it is, it gets headlines and then the song gets attached to it, making the song have a story. And artists love it when songs are interpreted and taken into whichever way the public wants to make the song their own. So it helps him. Don't ever be afraid to interpret the song however you feel fit, even if it's not what the general public wants because art is personal 
and you're allowed to interpret it however you want. Do I personally believe it's any of the things that are being said? Not really, but those beliefs are up to you. And if you want to believe in those things, then please do. There is no judgment from me. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.